Good afternoon, guys. Pwede mo mag-good afternoon tayo. Nasa Zoom ako kanina, nakita ko si Natalie. Guys, sa mga nasa team online, we miss you. And just as before we start, and before we start, may papasahin lang ako sa inyong verse. And siguro kung may Bibles kayo, buksan nyo din para maset your hearts natin. Sabi sa Isaiah 59.1, sabi dito, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, or His ear dull that it cannot hear. So, sabi dito, hindi maikli yung kamay ng Panginoon at hindi bingi yung tenga niya. So, pwede tayong magtaas ng kamay natin, pwede tayong uh, manalangin sa Kanya sa mga panahong ito. Kasi naririnig niya tayo at pinakikinggan niya tayo. Amen? So, pwede ba? Let's set our hearts for some moments and let's pray. God, um, may we worship you, God. No matter what we're feeling, no matter what we're going through, God, we will declare that you are the Lord of our life, that you are seated, Lord, in the highest places in the heavens, God, and that you are in control, Lord God. Open our eyes, Lord, to see the realities, Lord, the spiritual realities of who you are. Thank you, Lord. We set our hearts, Lord, and we're excited to worship you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, hands up. Okay. Alam na alam natin to. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Yes, Lord. I want to see you. So you'll be sing, open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. You are here. I want to see you. Once again, open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you, to see you high, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Open the eyes, open the eyes of my heart, Lord, oh, would you open the eyes of my heart? I want to see you. Ooh, I want to see you. So you. Let this be our prayer. Open, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you high. To see you high and lifted up. Shining of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy holy to see you high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy 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 Holy, 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 I want to see you. See, let's worship him today. Holy, holy, you are holy, Lord, holy, holy in all of your ways. Holy, 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 I want to see you. Okay, let's declare this. Holy, holy, holy. You are holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy. Matchless in all of your ways. Perfect in everything you choose. Holy, holy, holy. To see you high and lifted up, shining, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love 
voices we sing, but the online. Holy, holy. See, for wherever you're joining, would you sing this to God? Holy, holy, holy. You are holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. For the last time, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, righteous and worthy. Holy, 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 I want to see you. So you natin si Lord. May kakantahin tayong bagong kanta and tuturo ko sa inyo yung chorus um, about us Beatitudes which fits our current series at week 5 siya pumasok. So, okay ba? Game ba kayong matuto for another song? Sige. Mga maestro, maestra. <laughs> yeah. Sabi dun sa lyrics, pwede ba natin i-flash yung lyrics? Well, there. Ayan, sabi dito, blessed, um, yung chorus, bro. Sabi dito, blessed are the ones who call your name. Blessed are the ones who call your name. And in the next line, blessed are the ones you save. You bless the pure in heart. And in the last line, sabi niya dun, we will see our God. We will see our God. So, ganito lang siya kantahin. Oh, blessed are the ones who call your name. Oh, blessed are the ones you say. You bless the pure in heart. Oh, you bless the pure in heart. We will see. We will see our God. We will see our God. Okay, once again, blessed are the ones who call. Oh, blessed are the ones who call your name. Oh, blessed are the ones you say. Oh, you bless the pure in heart. We will see our God. We will see our God. We need your favor, Lord. Oh, we need your grace. Oh. We need your mercy, Lord. Blessed are the poorest ones, for heaven comes to where they are in you, in you. Blessed are the ones who mourn. Blessed are the ones who mourn, for comfort comes to find them all in you, in you. Those who seek. Those who seek will be made right, they will be filled and lifted high in you, in you. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy will be shown to them by you, by you. Yeah. 
mercy our God. This is who we are. Oh, bless. Oh, blessed are the ones who call your name. Oh, blessed are the ones you say. Oh, you bless the pure in heart. We will see our God. We will see our God. The children of our God, of our God. Blessed are the meek, blessed are the meek, for they receive the earth and all that's found in you. In you. Oh, blessed are the ones who call. Persecuted, we will stand for heaven's a reward here and now. Still to come. Oh, blessed are the ones who call your name. Oh, blessed are the ones you say. the pure in heart we will see our God we will 
Thank you for this afternoon of worship, Lord. We pray, Lord, na we are able to glorify you and worship you. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity and the privilege to call you our God, to call you our Father, and to even call ourselves blessed by you, Lord God. Thank you for your grace, Lord. I pray, Lord, na that um, this afternoon, Lord, we will receive from you. I pray, Lord, na we will hunger and we will be desperate, Lord, to receive your word, to receive your word of encouragement, correction, comfort, and power. Lord, bless us that way this afternoon. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay lang po tayo ngayong hapon. Sana hindi tayo init na init at medyo irritable. <laughs> Pero ayan, uh, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Ayan, dadako na po tayo sa ating pagbibigay. At ngayong hapon po, um, magbabasa tayo in Luke chapter 16, verse 10. Ayan, sabi dito, Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest, with very little will also be dishonest with much. Alam niyo po, um, dati, every time na, ano, giving na, lagi kong, ano, um, kinakount yung sarili ko na, Lord, feeling ko, hindi ko siya part. Kasi, nakita ko dati, na yung giving, feeling ko para lang siya sa mga, nagtatrabaho na talaga, at malalaki na yung, ano, yung sahod, <laughs> or yung mga, meron na talagang, <laughs> Pero akala ko, um, yung pagbibigay is kapag meron ka lang talagang kaya. Pero alam niyo po, um, I've realized that Lord, 
Um, kung magbibigay ako sa kapag meron na ako at malaki na, Lord, how can I be trusted, Lord? Sa mga malalaking bagay pa, kung sa maliliit, Lord, hindi ko to na- nabibigay sa iyo with all my heart. And alam niyo po yun, um, akala ko um, part lang siya ng mga hindi estudyante katulad ko. Feeling ko um, wala akong kayang gawin sa part na to. Pero hindi kaya, ito na yung starting point natin. Hindi kaya ito na yung pwede nating makapagsimula na ipakita natin na, Lord, I can still be trusted, Lord, kahit sa ganitong paraan. And makita rin natin na siguro, oo nga, no? um, baka hindi na rin siguro issue yung amount, pero yung faith natin every time that we give. And ayun, um, I know siguro karamihan sa atin dito, estudyante, katulad ko, pero alam niyo po, um, parte pa rin tayo. Gano man yan kalaki, gano man yan kaliit, we have a part to play in this, um, sa pag invest sa kingdom ni Lord. And ayun, hayaan natin na let's step out at magbigay tayo. Dahil ito, um, less pa to, alam niyo yun, sa kung ano yung deserve ni Lord. Ayun, sige, um, bago tayo magbigay, manalangin tayo. Panginoon, salamat po. Salamat, Lord, for um, You have given us, Lord, all the resources, Lord, that we need. And Lord, ngayon, ito yung, um, Lord, you're asking us to give, Lord, to your kingdom. At hayaan mo, Lord, na, Lord, makita namin na may part kami sa pag invest sa kingdom mo. Lord, meron kaming parte, Lord. Meron kaming parte. And I pray, Lord, that you open our hearts, Lord. And as we give, Lord, let us receive you, Lord. Salamat po. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Ayun, um, pwede po tayong ayun, magbigay sa online, ayan, sa BDO, Union Bank, BPI, and GCash. And um, after na magbigay na tayo, ayun, merong tayong i-fill up na Google Form link. Ayan, nasa hey link yan lahat. And ayun lang po, thank you po, pwede lang po tayong magbigay. Nakalimutan ko na paano siya i-set up. <laughs> Ayan. Um, hello po. Narinig nyo naman po ako, no? <laughs> um, Alright. So, uh, welcome sa, sa fifth week ng ating fusion entitled The One That Got Blessed. And sige, um, Before we start, um, pwede kung meron kayong kakilala na uh, thank you pala sa sa worship team. Thank you sa Team Fusion, sa Fusion team. Kung wala kayo, wala rin to. <laughs> Salamat sa Icebreaker. Yung, ay, kinabahan ako kanina sa Icebreaker kasi parang kinokontra niya yung series natin. <laughs> Not the one. Um, pero salamat, nag-enjoy po kami. Parang di nyo kami binigyan ng chance para manalo. Grabe talaga. Okay, so we're now on the fifth week of our series entitled The One That Got Blessed. And speaking of week, wala bang nakakapansin? Or do you know... <laughs> ano yun? Do you, wala bang nakakapansin? Do you notice something new or parang may change in our schedule? Exactly po. Um, the duration of our series really changed this time. It is far from usual kasi we're already reached a milestone. Wow, milestone! <laughs> Um, a world-breaking record. De joke lang. Supposedly po kasi our series will end in the fourth week. Pero this time, thank you Lord, it even doubled up the week because we're achieving an eight-week series. So this marks the fifth week of our series. So usually dapat bago na yung series or naka-series break na tayo. Pero dahil mapapangarap, ma- mapangarap yung mga, <laughs> yung mga nag-outline ng series, umabot tayo ng eight weeks. So thank you Lord. Pwede ba palakpakan natin si Lord kasi parang, whoo, first time to. <laughs> first time in history. Okay, so, 
Um, and thank you, Lord, kasi He even blessed us with, with this um, eight-week series. Pero uh, actually, I'm also excited for the coming for the coming series and what's still to come this year. And who's mean that? Sinong kasama ko doon na excited na rin sa mga susunod pang series natin this year. And um, right now, we're going to... Um, To, to go back, we're going to continue one of the sermon of Jesus called the Beatitudes. And syempre, mahalagang maintindihan natin kung ano nga ba yung Beatitudes ulit. Kasi baka nawawala na tayo dun sa, eh, sa karere. Parang, ano na, baka inisip natin about ano na, skincare na yung Beatitudes. Ganyan. Pero Beatitudes simply talks about um, yung praise na blessed are, blessed are, and Beatitudes implies a current state. Parang, um, it suggests or siguro sin- sinasabi nun that Um, to be blessed or to be to be happy in this world, you are um, Jesus given this um, eight um, beatitudes for us to ex- for us to to maximize or to to utilize our um, um, our um, living here here on earth. So simply, kung babasayan, lagi nyo lang tatandaan pag babasayan yung beatitudes. Palitan nyo lang yung praise na, na blessed ng happy. So ganun lang siya. Parang so parang happy are those who happy are those who. So parang happy are those who are merciful. Parang 'yon. 'Yon pala 'yon, hindi para parang. So we're continuing our series and we are now come to the beatitudes that siguro every one of us here can really relate to. Siguro a topic that I think na we encounter in our day-to-day lives. Hindi man siguro natin napapansin pero kasama to sa mga bagay na iniisip natin sa parang pang-araw-araw nating pamumuhay. Hindi ko alam kung napansin niyo rin 'yon. Pero um, that in our life there's no shortage of things that will cause offense or there's no shortage of trials. Talagang laging meron. Talagang um, someone will offend you, you will offend someone, makakasapak ka, makakatadya ka. May mga ganung instances in our lives. So Hindi ko alam kung napansin nyo rin yun. And kung umabot ka, ayan, kung umabot ka, kung nasan ka man ngayon, <laughs> parang galit, umabot ka man kung nasan ka man ngayon or kung saan ka man tumatayo ngayon without some sort of offense. Na, alam mo yun, na you don't, yun nga, sabi ko you don't offend someone or you never experience to be offended by someone, I tell you, you are a unique person. <laughs> kung hindi mo na-experience yung mga bagay na yun, saludo. Because personally, I believe that at some point in our lives, every single one, single one of us here has gone through a series of offenses. Tama? <laughs> May nagnunulog. <laughs> Saludo po. Has gone through a series of offenses and things that takes away our ability to be merciful. Yes, you've heard it right. This afternoon, we're going to talk about a beatitude that talks about mercy or forgiveness. Pwede bang pakasabi sa katabi mo kung may katabi ka? Um, mercy. Mercy. Mar- Mars. Mercy. And we will elaborate it more uh, by looking at how important it, it was for Jesus because he really included it. He really included it in, um, in his sermon. Kasi kailangan talaga natin to. Pwede bang ulit? Pwede, pwede, sorry, ang dami kong utos ha. Pwede ba pakasabi ulit sa katabi mo, kailangan mo to? Okay. So we will read from we will continue our reading in in Matthew chapter 5 verse 7 verse 7. Ang sabi doon blessed. Ang say pwede pong fa-flash. Go Joel. Yan, blessed are the merciful for they will receive mercy. And sige before we officially start let's um open this in prayer. Lord, um Lord, we thank you Lord for this afternoon. Salamat Lord kahit Uh, alam niyo po yun, ang daming hindrances, Lord, in our schedules, Lord. Um, even, the, um, Lord, yung klima, Lord, ay <laughs> kalaban namin ngayon. Yung init, Panginoon, and traffic, Lord. But thank you, Lord, because you allowed us, Lord, to to come here, Lord. Salamat, Lord, sa pag-iingat mo sa amin. And I pray, Lord, na you will help us, Lord, to understand this. And I pray, Lord, na for whoever, Lord, na we will hear this, I pray, Lord, that you, somehow, Lord, it will, it will cause or it will create a change within us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to understand this word of yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, whew, okay lang kayo, guys. <laughs> okay, so upon reading this verse, alam niyo po, I understand that 
Um, Jesus adds this attitude, adds, adds this attitude as blessing because those who, are, those who are merciful should see themselves as blessed. So parang, ayan, parang ang dali niyang, unlike um, other, ano, unlike other beatitudes, parang ang dali nitong iintindihan. Because those who, those who are, those who receive, those who are merciful will also be, will also be receive mercy. So parang nare-reciprocate yung, yung um, pagiging merciful mo because you will also receive mercy. Kasi makakatanggap din tayo ng mercy. They will too will receive mercy from God. And Jesus is most likely referring to receiving mercy from God. Hindi receiving mercy from other things, sa alien, hindi. For, for, from God. And um, and what's amazing is, one of the char- characteristics of God is to, to show mercy to those who are merciful. To show mercy to those who are sinners. To show mercy to those who are in need. And if this is only what this verse wants to say to us, for us to get and to understand, Siguro pwede na tayo mag-closing prayer, no? parang tapos na. Kasi parang ang dali lang niya intindihin. Because um, this is only what we need to hear today. Be merciful so that you can receive mercy from God. But that, yun yung problema dito. But that is not just the case here. Because God did not just say, um, God did not just say this because He wanted us to say, or He wanted us to understand that giving mercy and receiving mercy should only involve you and God. It's a part of it, but it should include other people too. Yan na. Humirap na ang laban kasi may involve ng mga tao. I remember, meron kaming kwentuhan, tapos parang mayroon kaming dilemma, ganyan. Tapos pa- parang may question na, paano ba natin to maayos, ganyan? Paano ba natin mapapaa, ma- ma-i-improve yung ganito, ganyan. Tapos parang, I remember, may isang, may, may isa kaming kasama na sinabi niya, mahirap talaga kapag may tao. <laughs> Imagine parang, ikaw, di ba parang hirap talaga kapag may involve ng mga tao, pag hindi na lang ikaw, pag you consider, may kinoconsider ka ng ibang tao, mahirap talaga, humihirap talaga yung isang bagay. And, ayan, sigo, siguro what we're missing out, in this verse. Kasi parang ang dali lang niya intindihin talaga, di ba? Parang maging, ano, maging merciful ka lang, tapos makakaisive ka ng mercy. Pero siguro what we're missing out, siguro what we overlook in this verse is that those who have received mercy from God ought to be merciful to others as well. So yun nga yung sinasabi ko that meron ng involved na tao. Okay? Um, siguro, I uh, justify it ang sabi sa Ephesians chapter 4 verses 32, and be, and be kind to one another tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgiven you. Alam niyo po, the thought behind this beatitude is that, the thought about this beatitude is that once we come to a relationship with God, as what we're trying to achieve in the, uh, the, the previous weeks, di nyo ba napansin na parang unti-unti namin, unti-unti, unti-unti natin i-build up yung yung, yung, um, yung sarili natin to, to pursue relationship with God kasi we started to um, humble humbling ourselves we start to recognizing our um, our weaknesses tapos right now um, that's why um naalala ko last week um, parang yung yung senior din ate and she's parang reintroduction i- i- ulit ng topic kasi ate and she's preparing us for the coming um for um for, um, for the next coming um beatitudes kasi You need to have a relationship with God in order for you to achieve or to to do this um, beatitudes. And nahanap ko yung timer. Okay, 20 minutes. <laughs> And um, ayun. But um, nawala ako. Okay. Uh, what we're trying to achieve in the last four weeks of our series is it's um, the 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 first four weeks. Um, will help us to achieve this um, this coming four um, beatitudes, which is, yung una-una is being merciful. So you need to have a relationship with God in order to do this. Because those who have received mercy from Him will also extend mercy to other people. But yung problema, that's not an easy thing to do. That's not an easy thing to do and to live out. Because we encounter this in our day-to-day life. I'll give you an example. Sino yung, ano, yung naka-experience na dito na parang uwing-uwi ka na tapos um, biglang nagising ka tapos ikaw na lang mag-isa sa jeep. Tapos bad trip, pinalipat ka ng jeep. Sobrang hassle. Di ba parang, 
Ang hirap patawarin ng dejak. <laughs> Pero na-experience na ba yun? Ako kasi madalas yun kasi ang dami kong biyahe, di ba? Makarating lang dito kasi gan ko kayo kay love, love guys. <laughs> so, dito yung experience na nun. Or ano, meron kang kaibigan na ano, na mahilig mang, ano, mak- manginom tuloy. Mahilig makiinom. <laughs> mahilig makiinom or manghingi ng food. Tapos pag, pag binalik na sa'yo, kalahat, wala na sa kalahati yung ano, Ako pala yun. I know someone. <laughs> Or meron sa yung nangutang, tapos hindi ka na binayaran. <laughs> Or ito, ito. Na-experience ko talaga to real life, ano to, real life story ko. Sumali ako ng palu, ito, ito. Sumali, na, sumali kayo ng paluwagan, tapos nung ikaw na yung mismong sasahod, tinakbuhan ka nung... As in literal, na nakita ko siyang tumakbo, tapos sinabol namin siya ng mga high school friends ko. Ganon ka lala. Grabe. Way, parang 2012 pa lang pala may mga scammers na. <laughs> And then, ayun. And siguro punta naman tayo dun sa mga mas seryosong bagay. Ayan, mga seryosong bagay. Feeling ko wala nang tatawa dito. Someone hurted you. And the hurt is very deep. <laughs> siguro for some of us here, siguro you experienced um, something in the past that really changed the course of your life. Siguro you were bullied You were completely disregarded in your family. Or someone broke your heart. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you've been in a... Kala ko serious. Parang todo ko na to eh. And someone broke your heart and you've been in a relationship that is not healthy. Uh-huh. And it really became so personal. And I know that we all experience these things. And I tell you, the message, the message this afternoon is for you. Siguro sa mga pasir, parang gusto mo naman talaga magpatawad. or to give mercy to others. Pero you're still wondering, how can I do that? Talaga bang kaya ko? I tell you, forgiveness does not come easily. But it is possible for us, who, those who um, have a relationship with God, if we have the right tools and we are willing to put in the effort. So, ayun nga, we're going to talk about forgiveness, which is, the so, which is so central to what we believe in. It's essential, it's essential because it's the issue of forgiveness. And the Christian faith, I realize that the Christian faith is built upon the fact that God forgave every single one of us here. Every one of us here. Even our sin, our transgressions, iniquities. And in return, God calls us to forgive other people who sinned and wronged us. It is so central because it is repeated over 50 times in the scripture. This whole idea of forgiveness. And alam niyo po, what's interesting is even the modern medicine ay napansin na nila yung kahalagahan ng benefits and ng forgiveness. And alam niyo po, in, in my pursuit of understanding this topic and studying for it, I come across this article and I'm going to share this with you. And sige, pwede pong pakita yung screenshot ng article. Ang sabi dyan, studies have found that the act of forgiveness can reap huge rewards for your health. Lowering the risk of heart attack, improving cholesterol levels and sleep. and reducing pain, blood pressure, and levels of anxiety, depression, and stress. Then continuing, sabi dyan, con- chronic anger puts you into fight or flight mode, which results in numerous changes in heart rate, blood pressure, and immune response. Those changes then increase the risk of depression, heart disease, and diabetes, among other conditions. However, forgiveness, however, comes with stress levels leading to improved health. Alam niyo po, we see that forgiveness is essential even to our physical health. Amazing po, no? That na, <laughs> to physical health, not just our spiritual health. And it's amazing to see that, and it's amazing to see and witness that even modern science is now discovering what Jesus has been teaching for over 2,000 years. And kung anong sinasabi ng Bible. In order to be blessed, we need to be merciful. To forgive, and that means even the small stuff, even the big stuff. We need to forgive just as the Lord forgave us. We need to be merciful because He is merciful to us. And we will el- elaborate on how important it is and its significance for us by reading uh, Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Ang sabi doon, then Peter came and said to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times, Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you, 77 times. Oh, alam niyo ba, when Peter asked this question, 
this question. The people are the people at that time are practicing when observing rabbinic tradition. So wala yung kinalaman sa rabbit ah. Pero ano ano wala yung kinalaman yung rabbinic tradition. Pero basically yung rabbinic tradition um and said or suggest that you only need to forgive three times. Three times. Pwede bang tignan mo yung katabi mo ngayon? Lagpas na ba yun sa tatlo? <laughs> Nakalagpas na ba yun sa tatlo? Nako. Nako. And after that three times, kapag nagkaroon daw ulit sila ng, pag nagkaroon ulit ng offense or they sinned against you in their time, pwede mo na silang gantihan. Malaya ka ng bugbugin. Sapukin, tadyakan, <laughs> bugbugin, magbardagulan, ganyan. Pwede mo na silang, kahit anong gawin mo, pwede na. Ngayon, tignan mo ulit yung katabi mo. Iniisipan na ba yung pwedeng maging ganti dyan? <laughs> <Joke lang. laughs> Parang di church nang napasokan ko. Joke lang po. And p- ayun, pwede mo nang gawin lahat because now you are done in your duty. In your duty and you can get your revenge. And here's Peter. Ito na naman si Peter. Thinking na sobrang bait niya. Kasi he said, he can do it seven times eh. Kasi parang, uy, ako nga, kaya ko seven times eh. Pero yung rabbinic tradition, tat, three times lang nila kaya mag-forgive. Ako, kaya ko Lord seven times. Akala ni Peter, ang bait-bait na niya. Because he's willing to go seven, di ba? Na parang, Lord, I'm such a good person. But Jesus answered differently. Actually, Peter, hindi lang dapat seven times. But 77 times. Or in other words, infinite and unlimited times. This is a completion. And I imagine Peter's reaction na parang, Lu, be todo ko na yun eh. Parang, <laughs> parang be todo ko na yun eh. So what we can learn from this, and that leads us to our point number one, we need to forgive immediately. Sige po. We need to forgive immediately and unconditionally. Akala ni Peter, mabuting mabuti na siya. Pero Jesus is telling him, Peter, di mo pa talaga gets. Ako lang po ba yung nakapansin? that um, Jesus didn't put any conditions upon his upon the, his concept of forgiveness. Di ba parang hindi man niya lang tinanong si Peter na, sige Peter, kwento mo lang yan. And with matching, tinatapik-tapik pa yung likod. O, anong problema? Anong ginawa nila sa'yo? How sorry were they? Most of us siguro, that would be our response, di ba? Pero imagine si Jesus, hindi, lang, hindi, niya, nga, hindi niya nga man lang kinomfort si Peter. But he said na, oh, oh no, Peter, you need to forgive 77 times. And ju- Jesus didn't justify his response. He just, he just said that you need to forgive. He just said that you need to forgive. Gaano man karami, gaano man kadalas, you need to be merciful and forgiving without condition. Immediately and unconditionally. Hmm, parang ang hirap, no? It includes, it, in, siguro, um, upon reflecting, May isip na natin yung mga small and big offenses na nagawa natin or an experience natin. And listening to this, and listen to this, when we don't practice this thing, this concept of forgiveness that Jesus is saying, we might not know what will happen or what will be our next response because we will gonna we will gonna be offend, we will gonna offend one another. Throughout our throughout all throughout our lives. Tama po ba? Sinong agree? And I remember um, last Sunday, um, sorry, parang wala kasi ako ma- magawang illustration. <laughs> I remember last Sunday, um, ano, may, syempre may, may reflection question, tapos sasagot, woo, parang, ang, last week ba yung may mahirap na reflection question? Tapos sa sobra, da, dahil sobrang nataranta na ako ganyan, naiwan ko yung phone ko, tapos naiwan ko yung salamin ko. Tapos, big, tapos nung babalikan ko na siya, nawala siya. Sabi ko, alasan ang napunta yun. As in, kung, na, kung may mga nagsay dito, mapa, mapapatunayan nila na lahat ng chairs dyan sa likod. As in, nilig, nilinis ko, nilikpit ko lahat yung chairs, tapos minunta ko sa likod, tapos iniisa, iniisa-isa ko yung pagsipat doon sa mga spaces in between. Kasi baka, ano, baka nailagay, tapos naiwan. Naiwan ko nga sa chairs yung phone, saka salamin ko. So, baka nalagay doon. Pero hanggang dulo, wala akong nakita. Then, um, comes in, may, may, may isang tao agad akong naisip na pwedeng gumawa nun. Tapos he came back to the church, to church tapos he, I asked him na, uy, uh, tago na lang natin siya sa pangalang Big Boy. Ayan, si Big Boy. Sabi ko, uy, Big Boy, ano, uh, nakita mo ba yung, yung salamin ko sa yung cellphone ko? Tapos, 
he looked at me, tapos mukha siyang suspicious, as, yung ganun yung tama niya. <laughs> yung konti na lang, ano, bubongisgis na. Tapos sabi ko, lo, ikaw yung nagtago. Tapos hanggang dulo, hindi niya inamin. Pero wala pa akong idea yun. Idea nun, na siya na lang yung, na siya, na siya pala yung nagtago nun. Tapos, tapos parang kinagabihan, kasi magkasama kami, Feeling ko nagkaka-idea na kayo. <laughs> Magkasama kami. Tapos doon niya lang, tapos, ay, nung, nung, nung araw din na pala yun, na nalaman ko din, na parang, na siya pala yung nagtago. So parang pina, pinaparosahan niya pala kasi kung saan-saan ko. Alam niyo ba, kung saan niya tinago? Dito sa may drums. Di ba nakatakip na to kapag wala ng service? So wala talagang point para mahanap ko yung phone ko saka ano, yung salamin ko. So, ayun, um, grabe. Um, forgiveness, yeah. And I realized na, uh, and parang, alam niyo, parang sobrang bad trip ako nung araw na yun. Nung bad trip talaga. Kasi parang lahat ng efforts ko napunta lang sa wala, sa kakahanap. Tapos may nagtago lang pala. Imagine, di ba? Pa, ah, bakit ganun, ganyan? But I chose to forgive him. I chose to forgive him and just let it go. Because I realized that there are a lot of reasons to be offended. But if we don't, if we don't learn and convince ourselves to forgive, Nagpapatong-patong siya. It piles up. Then we start to add up. Tama. Parang, uy, pangalawa mo na to. Sumusobra ka na. Ginawa mo na naman to sa, ginawa mo na naman sa akin to. And by, and continually do this. And you always do. And we will, and we will realize na lumalaki na pala. And lumalaki na pala yung offense natin. Or yung, um, kung paano natin tinitignan yung isang taong yun. Just uh, katulad ng sa experience ko. And it until it wrecks our relationship, your relationship with them. Sigur, how many of us here, yung may ganitong pinagdadaanan? I tell you, we need to forgive even the smallest one, not just the bigger ones. Because there will come a time na may ipon nga ng may ipon mga bagay na ginawa, na, ginawa sa atin. And mapapansin natin na parang ang bilis na nating ma-offend. And that's the reason siguro why Jesus is very straightforward in saying that you need to forgive an unlimited amount of time na parang, imagine he didn't ask eh, how big the offense is. Is this, di niya tinanong si Peter na it is a big, is it a big deal? Parang do they say sorry? Jesus didn't ask those things. You need to forgive whatever offenses are done towards you, towards us. And I know that this is hard kasi lahat tayo eh, we, we, we will experience offense. And it is frequent as it is. Madalas natin yan may encounter. Katulad ngayon, hindi ko alam kung mapapatawad pa ako ni Kuya Dave for telling the story. <laughs> so si Kuya Dave yung nagtago nung phone ko sa kaano. Sana, mapa- <laughs> Sana mapapatawad niya pa ako. And if we, if we miss this part, there's a huge chance that we're gonna be able to live the life that God calls us to live. And we're not gonna receive His blessing, the blessing that He prepared for us. And we're not just talking about small concerns, issues, small stuffs. Also, it comes along with the bigger stops. Siguro for some of us here, there's someone who wronged you. There's someone who wronged us. And it, it, it dictates the course of our life. There's someone who sins against you, who sinned against you, and it keeps us changed for, chained for a long time. But alam niyo po, if you learn to forgive those um, two parts, those um, things that are big, things that are small, there's freedom, there's hope. There's healing, not just for ourselves, but also for the rest of the world. So if we if we want our world to be a better place, we must start. We must start with our world. It starts with us. Pwede bang pakasabi sa katabi mo, sa yun mag-uumpisa? Kaya Jesus tells to Peter, not just seven times, you must forgive in an unlimited amount of time, unconditionally. And immediately, and what up, and what comes after this verse is Jesus goes into goes and continue this story by uh, by um, telling us telling a parable to explain and elaborate more about it, and we will read it and understand it this afternoon to further understand what Jesus means when he talks about mercy and forgiveness. Ang bilis ng time, so kikwento ko na lang, so di ko na babasahin kasi mahaba. Merong uh, merong isang king, then meron siyang meron siyang um, slave. Tapos parang nakagawa, nakagawa ng kasalanan yung slave, yung unang slave. Tapos, uh, anong nangyari? Nag-plead yung slave. Tapos parang patawarin niyo ako, humingi siya ng patawad. And then the king um, forgive him. 
And then comes um, the story na yung slave naman, yung unang slave naman yung kailangan magpatawad dun sa nakagkasala sa kanyang isang slave din. So parang ganun nag-work yung story. There's, there's a king and he ought to, to forgive someone, forgive the first slave. Tapos yung, yung slave, yung pinatawad na slave na yung magpapatawad. hindi niya magawang magpatawad, hindi niya kinaya magpatawarin yung slave din na nagkasala or um, nagkasala sa kanya. And ang dami pong importanteng lessons yung mapupulat natin sa passage na to. And I want to break it down for you. First is, forgive because we are also forgiven through Jesus. What is forgiveness? It means that we forgive just as we have been forgiven through Christ. Ano po, alam niyo po yung sinabi nung king, nung king to the servant is ayaw niyang palayain yung kapwa niya servant. The king replied that I already forgave you. You pleaded on me. Hindi ba dapat ibalik mo rin yung pagpapatawad na binigay ko sa'yo? Alam niyo po, this is so important because forgiveness is not based whether or not the person deserves it or earned it. Hindi ito tungkol sa kung gaano siya nagsisisi dun sa nagawa niyang kasalanan sa'yo. Forgiveness is this. And here's our last point. Forgiveness is based on God's forgiveness of our sins. And that is the sole reason why you need to be merciful or forgive someone else. Because God forgave, already forgave us. Even if they did not say sorry. Even if they, if they, even if they, th- they think that they don't deserve it. Or even if you see it, na parang... Um, Um, parang nawala, parang wala lang yung offense. Nawalan lang value yung offense. Kailangan mo pa magpatawad. You will forgive because there's someone who forgave you and that is Jesus. That's why forgiveness is so important in our journey as humans because it is founded on the truth that God forgave us. Not because we earned it, not because we deserved it, but because He forgives. He forgives sinners. Imagine po our life here on earth is based on the fact Si Lord, pinatawad niya na tayo mula sa mga kasalanan natin. And because of that, because I've done this for you, you also need and oblige to do the same thing to other people, to those who wronged you, to those who sinned against you. And I don't know about you po, pero I find it very critical and I find it very, very, very hard. Kasi may mga bagay na nagawa sa atin na sobrang hirap tanggapin tama. And God, you're trying to say to me right now that if I don't forgive them, you will not forgive them. You will not forgive me too. Parang ang sarap ibalik kay Lord na parang, Lord, hindi mo ba alam kung ano yung ginawa nila sa akin? Lord, you don't know what they did to me. How it changes me. How it dictates the course of my life. Lord, you don't know how they treated me. And God will say, yes. Yes, I know. And I por- but, I por- but I forgave your death. And similarly, you need to forgive them too. And by the way po, sabi doon sa verses um, na sinabi din doon sa parable that uh, that the sin of the, the the first slave is is far greater and higher than the sin or than the death of the second slave to to the first slave. Na mas mataas, mas malaki, mas madami yung naging pagkakas ng naging kasalanan ng first slave, utang ng unang slave kaysa doon sa pangalawa. which may direct direct us into a realization po that our death to God, which is our, our sin, is far greater and higher. And I realize na hindi talaga siya kayang bara, bayaran ng kahit anong bagay dito sa mundo natin. That in comparison to our death to God, it's not worth comparing, comparing for. And siguro po God wants to say to us right now that or to, once has to be reminded that I, I, for, I already forgave you, anak. Through the blood of my son Jesus. This is the reason why you need to forgive them. Whether they deserve it or not. Because we too, as well, don't deserve the forgiveness we receive. So we see that our forgiveness po is not a response, is our forgiveness is not a response to other people, but uh, it is a response To Jesus himself. I, I, now, I want to highlight this po. Ang sabi sa Matthew 18.34, And in anger, his Lord handed, handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. It simply means po that if we don't forgive others, God will not forgive us. 
And that seems unfair. Tama? And we will come to a God asking, Lord, hindi mo naman talaga ako naintindihan eh. Hindi mo naman talaga alam kung saan yung pinagdaanan ko. Kung anong ginawa nila sa akin. How it changed me. But Jesus even made it clear, clearly po in the, pre- in the previous um, verses. Ang sabi sa Matthew 6, 14, 15, If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. Alam niyo po, when I read this verse, it's really unfair. Parang it didn't make sense to me. And siguro for some of us here then, until I realized what Jesus had done for me on the cross. He chose to forgive me unconditionally. And right now, when I continue to keep, his, to keep this unforgiveness in me, I'm exactly doing the opposite that um, what God has done for me. If I still continue to have this unforgiveness in me, kapag pinatuloy, pag pinagpatuloy pa po nating hawakan or um, na we will still hold um, hold them accountable for what they did for what they did to us we will still be um, imprisoned po alam niyo po unforgiveness is a complete rejection of the truth that God sent his son Jesus to die for us because we will think that we deserved it and we earned it So, in response, parang we will demand um, something then to those people who offend, who offend us. And that's really sad because it is completely contrary to the heart of God. We see that um, unforgiveness imprisoned us. And sabi po sa thir- um, verse 34, and in anger, his Lord handed him over to be tor- tortured until he would pay his entire debt. Alam niyo po, when the servant didn't want to forgive, he was put into prison. And siguro na-experience na din natin yun. When we chose not to forgive son, someone, diba? parang nilalagay din natin yung sarili natin sa isang kulungan where we stay and continuously remember the offense, the pain, reliving those events and over and over and over again. That's why it affects our health because we're constantly feeling the emotions, the anger, the force that makes you want, makes you want justice for what happened. And I think it's very tiring din, no? Nakakapagod. Nakakapanghina na daanan na lang siya ulit ng paulit-ulit. And it keeps us in this prison. And now I tell you, you need to release it. You need to release it. But the problem is, if I forgive them, I'm letting off the hook. I'm letting them off the hook. I'm letting go, I'm letting them go away within my reach. Nama, parang may, there's a sense of ganun, di ba? Na parang pinapakawalan ko na sila. Parang wala na lang lahat sa akin. Tama. Na parang naramdaman na lang nating um, na, alam ko nararamdaman nating lahat 'yon. But in reality, the Bible teaches us that we're not letting them go. Not we're not na we're not letting them go unpunished or letting them off the hook. We're putting them in God's hook. And God is far better in bringing justice than you and I. And sabi po sa Romans 12:9, dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge, I will pay them back, says the Lord. Forgiving po is also releasing yourself from that prison. Parang I'd rather put them in God's hand than put myself in God's judgment. <laughs> Anong mas pipiliin natin? And siguro po, this is hard. And siguro, isa sa mga rason kung bakit pa naging mas mahirap to is because we don't forgive often, often times. Because there's this feeling that I can, that I can, that we can forgive them. Parang di ko na ulit kayang magtiwala. And I've got good news for you. Forgiveness and, and trust is two different things. Because forgiveness is unconditional, where in trusting um, is entirely different because it is conditional. It depends on whether they repent or not whether they change or not. So there's no pressure on us. It's no longer in us. It's not, the decision is no longer in you. The trusting and reconciliation is dependent on whether they change or not. But forgiveness doesn't depend on them. Forgiveness is based on God's forgiveness of our sins. It doesn't mean po na we need to trust them again. That we have to be like this again. But I, chill, I still choose to forgive as many times as, 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 many times as I remember it. As many times as this offense comes up, offense this comes up. As many times I need to forgive, and alam niyo po it's hard because sometimes we need to forgive every day, 
We need to forgive multiple times a day. And a lot of times, you're not going to feel like doing it. Parang, talaga bang dapat kong gawin to? And I realized po, when I studying it, I realized that I have so many issues in forgiveness. I have so, main, I have so much unforgiveness in my heart. And I do really want to pursue justice for it. But here's what I experienced personally po. Alam niyo po, when you choose to forgive over time, it gets easier. It gets easier to forgive. And over time, yung sakit na dala ng offense, it gets diminished. And I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not sure po if that, offense, if that offense ever goes away. But I, I just know that I need to forgive. And it doesn't feel great then when I think about it. But I need to continue to choose to forgive. Na kailangan ko bang magtiwala ulit to those people who offended me? To those people who are closest to me? No. But I need to forgive them. So it's a choice. It's a choice. Forgiveness is a choice that we make in response. Not in the person, but in response in God's unconditional forgiveness over our sins, over the things that, um, that is not pleasing to Him. That God is the one responsible in dealing on our behalf. Alam niyo po, forgiveness and being merciful is so, impor- is so important because it is based on the good news of Jesus that He died for us. And when we apply this, for- this forgiveness in our lives, we can bring hope, we can bring healing to the world. Pero wala tayong kakayahan, na i- wala naman tayong kakayahan na magbigay ng mga bagay na wala tayo, di ba? So kailangan nating tanggapin yung kapatawaran ni Lord sa atin and begin to choose to forgive others. And that's where the blessing comes in. That's why our world needs our church. That's why the world needs the church. Because we need to, de- to, de- to, we need to demonstrate this kind of forgiveness, this kind of unconditional forgiveness to the world. And sige po, let's pray. Sige, um, pwede po ba tayong tamayo? Can we take this moment to, um, to thank Jesus for, for forgiving us, for dying for us? Sige, um, For some, for some time, let's thank Him. Let's thank Him for His unconditional love for us, for His forgiveness over our sins. Now, despite of all the things that we've done, for every foolish decisions, how we've hurt other people, thank Him. Thank Jesus for loving us condi- unconditionally, kahit hindi natin deserve yun. Sige, let's um, thank Him. Thank you, Lord, because um, you're a good God. Thank you, Lord, because you saved us, Lord, by dying on that cross when we, when we didn't deserve it, Lord. Lord, this afternoon, we come to you. We humble ourselves, Lord. Lord, we recognize, Lord, how much we've given mercy, Lord, how much we've been forgiven, Lord, by you, God. Help us, Lord, to extend it to those people, Lord, Now also no Lord, also Lord, do something wrong in us, Lord, to those people who sinned against us, Lord. Lord, help us to receive this blessing and leave it out, Lord, for the rest of our lives. Teach us, Lord, how to be merciful, Lord. Teach us, Lord, to forgive, Lord. Lord, tulungan niyo kami, Lord, to be um, reminded, Lord, that this is that the price is all, has already been paid, Lord, by you, God. Thank you, Lord. We acknowledge, Lord, your mercy. We acknowledge your forgiveness over us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. God, today, we're coming to you, Panginoon. Um, God, nakikita mo yung mga puso namin na masyado na nasugatan, nabigo, Panginoon, nasaktan ng mga tao na nasa paligid namin, as well as, Panginoon, um, nahirapan din kami, nag-doubt din kami sa inyo. But today, God, um, we are praying that you will continue to heal us. Patuloy namin maintindihan yung pagpapatawad, patuloy namin matutunan yung konsepto kung paano siya gawin, kung paano ba to kalalim, kung gaano ba to kaseryoso. 
lalong lalo na Panginoon kung gaano ka um, katotoo sa bawat pagpapatawad sa amin. Today God, um, we're praying na hindi lang namin basta kakalimutan yung mga nangyari, yung mga nakasakit sa amin, but God, um, tutulungan namin yung sarili namin magpaga- magpatawad. We will not just forget, but we will forgive, Lord. And um, patuloy mong ayusin yung mga puso't um, mindset namin, God. Pagalingin mo to Panginoon. And we are praying, Lord, na um, magkakaroon ng re- reconciliation sa mga uh, nasirang relationship, sa mga nasirang um, pag-asa sa mga nasira Panginoon na uh, pagtitiwala. Ayusin mo ito Panginoon lahat. Pagtibayin mo ito. Tinataas namin yung mga puso't isipan Panginoon namin. Niluluhod namin to sa inyo. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and 